Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Patricia. And today I finally have brought you the next set. This is the sample set by Okcha and this is the Oud collection. So the Oud collection has been out for a minute. It's just my first time trying it out. So right now you can get the Okcha Oud bundle. It is on sale for a hundred and $55 or four payments of $38.75. But if you just want to tiptoe into it like I did, then you can go ahead and get the smaller collection. And I believe the little sample collection is $12. So you would just go under sample sets on the website. And right now they have five different sets you can choose from. There is an actually a new set that came out um, called the Jewel Collection. I haven't had a chance to check that one out, but right now we are talking about the Oud Collection. It is $12 and that money gets goes toward a purchase when you purchase something else. So it's a win-win. So let's go ahead and get into this collection. I have not opened, I haven't even opened this yet. I have no idea what anything smells like, but this is what the samples look like. So, ooh, that is, okay. I'm like, why does it have lint on it? Because I let my husband smell these. I personally have not smelled them, but he has. And of course, presentation just looks crazy because I did not look at it before he put the vials back. Husband just won't let me be great. So let's check these out. Now, once again, I have tester strips and I'm going to try to just kind of dab onto the strip and go from there. So let's see. This is the first one I am grabbing. I have no idea what it is. And it is called, ooh, once again, these are hard to read. Um, This is Ocean. Ocean gold? Is it ocean gold? Ocean of gold. <laughs> so, now, thank goodness these are pretty easy to pop off. So, I am so thankful for that. And I'm just going to, as I said, just kind of dab it on here and go from there. This is beautiful. It's a sweet oud. So you do get the oudiness, but it's not that um, incense type of oud, super smoky oud. This is gorgeous. So, and as always, I will put a picture up above so you guys can see what the actual bottle looks like. Ocean of Gold, it says, it opens with cardamom and saffron. It evolves with notes of thyme and sandalwood. It dries down with the scent of vanilla and oud. Now, I would have thought this had some honey in it because it smells that sweet. So, it's an oud amber fragrance. This is gorgeous. Okay, we're one for one. Next up, we have Gulf Pearl. So, let's check this out. Let's see what it smells like. Okay, this one is going to be a little more ooty. I got a little bit more on my finger that time before I could get it out. So, whoop. Now that is just dripping all over the place. Look, y'all. Just making a whole entire mess. Oh, this is pretty. This one gives me kind of old-fashioned vibes. Like the, um, and I'm not saying that in a bad way, but it just kind of took me all the way back to something like what my mom used to wear. Those really girly, um, not girly, but, you know, womanly scents that your mom, your, your auntie, you know, we say rich auntie vibes now, but more of what the sassy auntie would wear. You know your favorite auntie. This is very feminine, very pretty. Mmm. I like this. This is this is a throwback for me. I don't know what is in this. It smells floral though, but it, it took me straight back to something my mom used to wear. Ooh. 
that almost went in my eye. I tried to put the cap on and it just flew at me. Oh, I love this one. Come on, gold pearl, what is this? Gold pearl is an oud spice fragrance. Where am I getting floral? It says the fragrance opens with saffron and cardamom. It, oh, here we go. It evolves with the notes of rose and ylang ylang. I knew it was a floral. And it dries down with the scent of patchouli and oud. This is absolutely beautiful. I love that this is an oud fragrance, but it's so womanly, so girly with the rose and the langy lang. Mmm. I really don't get spice from this, though. But it says it opens with saffron and cardamom. I just, it was straight up floral for me. Okay, two for two. Next up is Red Katara. So this already sounds all kinds of like dangerous and sexy and start moving back a little bit when I take the top off cause we are not trying to get splashed in the face again. So let's see, come on Red Katara, don't let me down. Don't let me down. Let's see. Do one more little. Now this one seems soft. I would think with a name like Red Katara, it would just be like coming out the gate, you know, just coming in hot. This is very soft and pretty though. It's almost powdery. I like this a lot. I'm just getting soft powdery with just a little bit of, of, I guess it would be oud. I was going to say a little bit of spice. Gorgeous. Okay, so Red Katara is an oud patchouli fragrance. So don't let the patchouli scare you people. All patchouli is not dirty and, and musty and funky. So it opens with cinnamon and nutmeg. So I guess that was the slight spiciness that I was getting. It evolves with notes of rose and lily of the valley. So once again, we are getting some beautiful florals. And it dries down with the scent of amber and oud. Stunning. Okay, next up we have sand and sea. So let's check this out. And you see how easy this is to just pull the cap off like that a lot there's nothing like struggling with a, a dauber bottle oh my god it is horrible this is very light very very light so if you're somebody that wants to get that fresh out the shower clean vibe this would be it very light, very refreshing, very non-offensive. We're wearing this to church, we're wearing it to work, we're wearing it when we're going to be in close space with someone. Hmm. Okay, sand and sea, yes. Let's see. Sand and sea is an oud floral fragrance. Once again, with the florals, it opens with mandarin and peony. Not really getting Mandarin, but okay. Um, now, granted, these might smell totally different or a little bit different on skin. We're just doing this on a card. But opens with Mandarin and Peony. Evolves with notes of Bulgarian rose and cedarwood. And it dries down with the scent of sandalwood and oud. So that Bulgarian rose is really coming through on this, but... If you are somebody, somebody that doesn't like rosy fragrances like that, you don't want to smell like grandma, this is not going to be that fragrance. Mm. There is not one that I don't like so far. Next up is Mystical Oud. These are really, really hard to see. I'm literally having to put this up to something to be able to see the writing. 
So that's why I'm not really showing it to you guys like that because it's hard to see. So with a name like Mystical Ood, it's got to be, I want to say maybe Dark and Mysterious. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Now this is more of your typical Middle, middle Eastern fragrance. This is coming with the oud, with the spices, very masculine leaning. Yeah, this is my husband's vibe right here. He give him all the funk, all the, the incense burning, all the leaves, give that to him. Yeah, th this one's a bit much for you, girl. So let's see what this one is. So this is, I did say mystical, right? Now I got to look at this again. Sorry, guys. Yeah, mystical oud. So mystical oud is a white floral fragrance. I am not getting that. It must be like way in the background. So it says the fragrance op opens with ylang ylang and lime hmm. and evolves with notes of jasmine and peony and it dries down with the scent of oud and sandalwood. I will give this another chance on skin. Right now, I'm just getting like straight up oud and spiciness. So we'll come back around once I'm done with um, this last scent and see if anything changes. But right now, Mystical Oud is the oudiest out of the whole bunch. So last on the list is Garden of Lucille. I don't know if you can see that or no, but let's see what this one smells like. Now, even though these aren't filled all the way, this is still a lot of fragrance. So I'm happy with that. I mean, for 12 bucks and you're getting six different fragrances, to me, that's a steal all day long. I could have swore I saw a gnat. Gnats are so annoying, guys. It's like you open the door to your house and like everything's just coming in. It's like it's waiting for you. Okay. This is kind of light and fresh as well, but I am smelling a little bit more oud in this one. Uh, I almost want to say like leathery. Watch, there'll be no leather in this. I like it. It's just, this one is also to me a little bit more masculine leaning. But you know, I like a masculine leaning fragrance, so... Okay, I'm gonna go on the record. I'm gonna say that it's light, it's fresh with a little bit of leather. Let's see what is in Garden of Lucille. It is an oud leather fragrance. Your girl's nose is not letting her down. Praise the Lord, cause I was about to be real embarrassed. I'm sorry y'all, sometimes you just gotta celebrate the little wins. It is an oud leather fragrance. It opens with oud and leather. It evolves with notes of cardamom and saffron, and it dries down with the scent of ambergris and oud. Okay. This would also be my husband's jam. Now I'm gonna have to ask him once I am done with this video to find out what his favorite was. And I'll put it down in the, uh, comment section in the information section just so you guys know yeah okay so we're gonna come back and we're gonna see what everything smells like and give you my faves so for me my very favorite is gulf pearl that is the one that i said it just reminded me of something that my mom wore back in the day you know all the good smelling women that you grew up with they just smelt like this, just at the top of their game in womaninity. You know what I mean? That's what, that is my favorite. And my second favorite is, mm, my second favorite is, 
Is it Red Katara? I believe it is. Yeah, Red Katara is my number two. And for number three, it's a toss up between the first one, which is Ocean of Gold and um, Sand and Sea. So it's kind of like a tie for the third, but I am liking every everything that I've smelled. Um, the last two, like I said, they leaned a bit more, more oody to me, a little bit more um, manly, but it's not to say that I still won't give them a chance on skin. And you can also still mix with other things, you know, if you, d you get it and you decide you don't like it. But I think there is something in this collection for everyone. And it's just a great way to try the fragrances out, you know, test it, see what you like, and then go ahead. And that $12 that you spend on this can be applied to a full bottle of whatever fragrance you like. Or even if you don't like something in this set, I believe you can still apply that $12 toward anything. So let me know your thoughts. And yes, I do have the latest bombshell fragrance of theirs, Miss Girl. I have that. I've been playing around with it. So I will come back and do a video on that as well and give you my thoughts. If you have any questions, just jot them down below. Thanks so much for watching. I do want to mention I paid for this with my own money. This was not sent to me by Okja. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.